Now let's stay in the northern region. As parents at Sikekra, a fishing community along the Volta River in the Kbandai district of the region, exploit their children in fishing at the expense of their education. Stanley Niblo reports that most children are introduced to fishing by the age of four. Sika Ekura is some three hours drive from the district capital, Pandai. The fishing community is not easily accessible. Sika Ekura is inhabited by about 300 people and is underdeveloped. Not every child here has the benefit of education. Fashion is the only source of livelihood for the indigents. In the quest to alleviate poverty in the area, children are used in the various trades by their parents. Meet these brothers. They hail from a Kumfi in the central region, but have been living in Sikekura for at least the last two decades with their children. These brothers believe using their children in various chores and trades is the best way to provide extra income for the family. Kweku Ankuma, the Gina brother, has three children, a boy and two girls. However, none of them is currently in school. Kweku Ankuma has the intention of educating the two girls, but his only son, Abu, has to sacrifice for the achievement of this course. Abu, who is 12 years old, accompanies his father during the fishing expedition. This has been a routine practice for the past six years. I engaged my son in the fishing expedition at age 8 because there was no one to help me fish to cater for the family. I wish he goes to school, but I cannot afford the cost that comes with it. Kwekwankuma, who is a former slave master, narrates how he bought two children and used them during the fishing expeditions. I discussed with one woman who promised to give her son to me to work with. She took 450 cities from me and brought two children to serve me for a period of one year. She later told some people to come for the children. The practice of buying and exploiting children at Sikekura is alleged to be the common practice here. Kweku's elder brother, Kwame Ibrahim, also engages in child exploitation. He has six children. Two of them are fortunate enough to be enrolled in school, but they join the others daily to fish before going to school. On vacation, the children have no rest. As feeble as they are, they are subjected to hard labor. Drawing the fishing net is difficult. I can't pull it without eating. I and my brother have been doing this daily to help our father. If you give birth to a child without training him the hard way, he will grow up without being brave. Fishing is a generational career, so they must be involved. His fifth child is four years old, but has already been introduced to an early fishing career. Kwame says fishing has elevated his status in the family, hence the need to introduce it to his children. I first educate my children, but if their academic performance is not satisfactory, I withdraw them from school and introduce them to fishing. The rest of the family members contribute to draw the fishing net to the shore. Yeah. 
Kwame's wife does the drying whenever a catch is being made. District Chief Executive Fork Bandai Emmanuel Atta Tatableta said the assembly is already aware about the exploitation of children in the fishing community. These issues are very worrying and very disturbing. Um, you cannot just go and say like we are ambushing them. You need to let them know the essence of education, the importance of education. Center, you need to engage them, you need to convince them, you need to let them know that it is it is against the practice that you use a child for five years that go and fish. It's against the practice, but we don't want to do it by using our muscles, our strength, that we are threatening them, but we want them to understand. If you teach somebody to understand something, the fellow practices and do it better. Sikekura and its adjoining communities would require conscious efforts and support in order to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 1, which promotes alleviation of poverty and Goal 4, which ensures access to universal basic education for all by 2030.